Hello, at 12 minutes past eight on a Monday, it's time for Zoom Down. On tonight's show, we see whether our champion, Cool Dan McComb, can become a Tetra champ. But in his way, in his way, we have the brilliant young Toby McDonald. And tonight, our lexicographer is James Rowan. I'm pulling the strings. Tom Perry. Hi, I'm here somewhere. Well, thanks for thanks for bearing with us. We're a little bit late. Sorry about that. These it's not even that long. We've been here longer before, I think. I think we have. It's not a record. We, we we've um yeah, but um it's just the way it is. So Sounds hopefully like you're all on the right. Hopefully you're all on the right stream. It's not a challenge. No, hopefully you're all on the right stream. And you're, you're here to see a great game of countdown happening tonight. Game of Zoom Down. So, Dan, Tetra, Tetra Champton beckons. Certainly does, yeah. Um, just got to keep playing how I've been playing and might win another game. But totally playing like a opponent, so mm. it's not going to be easy. It's not. It's a good, nice sort of clash of styles and stuff tonight as well. Like I was a big fan of Toby. will come to you. You were one of my favourite players to watch on the telly. You know, certain players you just you just enjoy watching, and you you were definitely one of those for me. I liked your I liked your style, and you were you were fierce, unlucky to come up against Philip Aston, another of my favourite players. I like I like these attacking attacking players. So yeah, everyone, yeah. welcome to Zoom Down. Thank you. It's great to be here. <laughs> Well, you've got a, you've got another tough opponent tonight. I have. It's going to be a very close game, I think. Let's hope so. We hope we hope it is. Um, we had uh, we had four very close games the other night on the numberist. James, did you watch that? Did I watch the numberist? Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I would have. I would have hoped so. Yeah. I was kind of you know juggling quite a lot of things at the same time with <laughs> the new program that we have. Um, yeah. I mean, I definitely need to invest or at least code a better um, number solver thing because a number of times I thought it was impossible, but someone yeah. in the chat had cracked it. Yeah. Um, but you know, did you watch it back? Did you watch it back? I meant that's what I meant. I know. You I did watch it work. back, and it yeah. wasn't quite as you know bad as it appeared to me at the time in terms of any mistakes. But oh, you, know, you were I've, fine. You were fine. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Always your own worst critic, but no, absolutely. We not. have we all have sort of blonde little yeah. blonde moments. And that's fine. Yeah. We, Great to celebrate the numbers players now. It was, wasn't it? And it, credit. Was, it was. It proved very, very popular. The numbers were great. I sound like Trump here. It was huge. You know, we good, good, great, great ratings. Cool stuff but, from um, yeah. the chat. Apparently, it's two years on this day since Toby and Phillips quarterfinal was broadcast. Oh, there we go. From what better way to mark so like, the occasion? Like the there you go. So. Two years to the day that you get your, you can get your revenge there, Toby. So, yeah. Well, it's it's going to be interesting tonight. Mouse, you looking forward to this one? Uh yeah, definitely. I mean, it could be Tetra Champ number three. It could be Toby's win number one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Who knows? Interesting. It's all set up. But anyway, we're a little bit late, so we'll we'll get we'll get into our gameplay. So, if you are both for, if you are both ready, best of luck, gentlemen. Thank you, Paul. Thank you. Yeah, good luck, guys. Good luck, Dan. Oh, Dan. Uh, Your letters, three. please. Take it away. Uh, three constants, three vowels, please. All right. And they are R, L, and B. Rebecca Long Bailey, Ray, uh, three vowels. Hey, are you, have you been on the sauce all day now? Are you sober? No. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and you're cutting No your comment. Vowels. Three vowels. Here. Consonant. Consonant is a G. A vowel. An A. And a consonant, please. Okay, and a final. Final T in that zoom down.
Dan? Eight. Eight. And Toby? No, just seven. Just seven, which is? Uh, Al Garb. Al Garb. How do you spell that? Uh, A L G A R B E. Okay. And Dan? Abrogate. Abrogate. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. nice indeed. So. James, what else could you have there? It's, it's a very good start, yeah. So there were two eights available, um, Abrogate being one of them. And there was another one which was um, Glabrate, um, which I will try, actually. There's a, only for a, the more kind of obscure spots, but I'm going to try and test out a little new feature. Mm. Um, powered by Oxford Premium Dictionaries. Um, so, yeah, a Glabrate, yeah, term from botany and zoology, is free from hair or down, another word meaning smooth. Oh, My journal's not very collaborate, I suppose. Nice. I have gla little collaborate bits just beside my knee there, where it's hair but it doesn't seem to grow. Oh, well. We just had a record anyway, for Zoom down. Point. We had two mouse. Good start. Okay. And Toby, round two, it's your letters, please. Uh, three consonants, three vowels, please. Three consonants. All right. Okay. So they are R, D, and P. Uh, consonant. An S. A vowel. A U. And another vowel, please. Final. A, and that's zoomed in. Seven. Seven and Dan? Seven. Okay, yours please, Toby. Radius. Radius, okay. And Dan? Arduous. Arduous, yes. No problem with those then. James? Yep, two good sevens. Uh, yep, seven was also the best there was. A couple more, so yeah, the five sevens available were Adipus, Arduous, Poduras, Radius, and Rapidos. Rapidos. From Spanish, of course. Rapidos. Rapidos. Sevens. Fifteen to seven. And we're into the first numbers round. That's Dan, that's you please. Can I fall out, please? You can. And your number your smalls are ten and three. And your larges, twenty five, fifty, seventy five. And you target five one six. Uh, only 515. Okay, and Toby? Yeah, 515, but not fully written down. Okay, Dan, is yours written down? Mine is written down, yeah. Okay, Toby, we'll go to you then. Uh, 75 minus 50 is 25. Yeah. Times 25 is 625. Mm -hmm. And take away the 100 and the 10. For five one five, and Dan. I did the same. Same. I don't know if you can see it there. Speak now. Can yeah. you see it? Yeah, I can see it fine. Okay. Yeah, the same same way as Toby. 
All right, yeah, that's okay. It just seems a little bit late sometimes going to your screen, Dan. Sometimes when you're was that set, you definitely had that spotlight my video thing set turned on. I've got your pin, yeah. Yeah, maybe maybe it interferes, but okay. Well, that's seven points, but was it available, James? No. Five on five is the best. Yes, five on six. I'm afraid is impossible. I'm still not as scared of four large as, as I used to be, like after after Saturday. It just seemed, you know, it's, it's definitely a... Desensitized after <laughs> seeing all those. It'll return, I'm sure. It will return, yeah, thanks. Thank you, Steve. I don't need that. 22 plus 14, we're into round four. And that is Toby, your letters, please. Uh, three consonants, three vowels again, please. Same selection as Dan, all right, we like this, NSD. E. O. O. Uh, consonant. Q. Uh, another consonant. And a vowel, please. Okay, and a final. Final A, and that's zoomed in. How'd you get on? Eight. Eight and down. Eight. Okay, yours please, Toby. Oh, and eights. Nice, yes. And down. Same. Same word. Can yeah. you see that? Yes, we can now. Yes, Absolutely. last yeah, yeah. one there we can. Yes, very nice. Well, James. Yeah, Odin 8, unsurprisingly, is uh, Darren. There's not going to be anything longer uh, with yeah. the Q there. Um, Odin 8 is, yeah, a predatory insect similar to a dragonfly. It's one of my, I, was, I thought it was a verb. Well, it was one of my favourite, yeah, it, it was one of my favourite plays on Apto, but I, I just thought that was it. Like no, it belongs to, it belongs to Odinata. So an oh. Odin 8 is a member of Odinata. Sorry, I had to fix my stool during that round, so I, I, just, I just didn't play along there. So. Oh well, very good, 8 points. Just that one round still in it. And we're into round five. And that is Dan back with your letters, please. Three consonants, three vowels, please. Okay. R, L, and R. O, E, and U. A consonant. P. Vowel. U. And another vowel, please. And a final. Final E. And that's in there. Toby? Mm, I might just have to try a six, but it's not written down. Okay, which is? Uh, Laura. L O U R E R. Okay, and Dan? Eloper. Eloper, okay, so nothing wrong with Eloper. Laura. James. 
I'm on mute. Um, Laura, I'm afraid, does not appear to be valid. So there are um, yeah, seven sixes available. Um, yeah, you've got Elopa, um, Pora, Perla, Repor, and then you've got three others which are less obvious. You've got Rupa, R O U P E R, I'm probably botching mm-hmm. that, Pellier, and Perul. Yeah. Pora and Repor and Elopa were probably the ones you should have. I imagine that a lot of people got. It was an awkward selection that with the two U's there, wasn't it? Very, very hard to spot words in there. So, well done. Going the six. Away, but harder, but... harder, yeah. I mean. Nobody in the chat appears to have got any of the more kind of obscure sixes. Only the no. three that we've mentioned. Well, so well done there, Dan. Got one of those sixes. Gets you thirty-six. Twenty-two. We're into round six. Toby, your first number selection. Uh, might try four large. Four large, okay. And your two smalls are six and nine. And of course, your four large, 25, 50, 75, and 100. And your target. 805. Eight oh six and Dan. Uh, Eight oh five, I think. Eight oh five, okay. Take it away. Uh, Seventy five over twenty five is three. Fifty minus three is forty seven. Yeah. Nine plus six is fifteen. Times them, I think, is seven oh five. It is. Plus hundred. Very nice. Well done. Good solve. Yeah. Very, not very only, nice. Not only is that the way that um, Apterus has offered, but he's defeated the chat as well. Well done. That's not. That's the second time he's done that, isn't it? Defeated mm-hmm. the chat. Well done. Takes a lot to defeat that clever old chat in there as well. So that's not your. That's not your standard audience, you know. I mean, to be that's fair, the chat. Right they are. So well done. The chat is slightly less good today by not having Toby in it. <laughs> it's very true. No point me keeping myself on mute, really. Apparently the stream can hear what I say even when I'm muted, so... Oh, can they? All right. It's thanks, Fiona, for telling me that, that now before I really make a fool of myself. Were you, swear- <laughs> were you swearing a lot? Remember the Walter Shed now? Ah, uh, yes. The classic. Mm. Right, so that's ten points there. Well done, Dan. Twenty-two. And I suppose we'll come and when we don't have a guest... So nice. The end of round six, we normally take a little break and we talk to we talk to our guests. Mouse has done it too many times now. Correct. For, for everyone's everyone's comfort. So I guess we will talk to our two contestants. So Dan, how did you get on in the quiz the other night? Yeah, I did quite well. I was quite close against Paul Worsley. I mean, right to the end, but I got a lucky guess on a question about what color is Fox blood in Star Trek. I didn't know it. I've never watched Star Trek, but I, I guessed and it was right and I won. What did you guess? I guessed green and that was right. I had a guess blue. Yeah. I don't know why I would have guessed blue. Yeah, interesting. But Paul Worsley is a he's a clever man. So no no he you is, didn't yeah. you didn't beat a mug. No, um, I actually played Paul Worsley in my series quarter final. Did you? I didn't know that. Oh, yeah, all the way back in series seventy one. That's cool. Hopefully, we're going to get the Worsleys on for um for dynasties in July. Good. Um, but yeah. So who do you do you know who you play next? I'm not sure. I think he's I I randomly it. drawing it when everyone's done their first thing. Right. Okay. Have you been in the quiz, Toby? Uh, no, I haven't. No. You, are you a quizzer? Not really. Now, I mean, I like to watch quiz shows, but um, I'm not really too good at them. 
you're not one of these people that enters everything like like <laughs> Robo has Robo's probably entered the, the, everything hasn't he the lot uh, no I'm not normally one who enters lots of quizzes no you either enter all of them or I suppose you kind of keep yourself to yourself don't you like, yeah I also um I say if either of any of you I mean obviously besides Toby um, have any of you applied for Pointless before because I hear getting on that's pretty impossible at this stage at the moment I quite a few up to rights who've not heard back really just too yeah. many just over the hard, mm. hardest part for me is finding a partner to go on it with <laughs> surely got plenty so if there's any plenty single ladies watching the YouTube channel then yeah yeah I, I intend to apply for that with my mum, but I haven't got around to it yet. Um, Did you hear back about the circle? Oh, I've not heard back from them yet, but like that was, I I doubt that'll happen. Well, this is good. You get into it, you find out what the these countdowners do in their spare time. Yeah. Just apply for other shows, so they're not they're just there. Yeah, they're unfaith being unfaithful to countdown really, and going off and having liaisons with other game shows and other game hosts. But uh, we'll get on with the game. So we were late tonight. So we're, there's no, we crack on. We don't have a guest tonight. But best of luck to you, gentlemen, as we go into round seven. And it's Dan, your letters, please. Hang on. I need to send a link to watch this to somebody. To fill the few second window, yeah, myself and Fred were also two more people, yeah, who, who applied for Pointless but never heard back in the end. I'm amazed that. So, yeah. Not only did Robbo manage to get on, but like, because um, he's he's been not allowed on quite a few shows, but <laughs> also there was that um, the team of Wes and Amar more recently were quite something. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, good to go. All right, so your selection, please. Normal, three and three and three, is it? Yeah, three constants, three vowels, please. Okay, and there are W, C, and G. Consonant. An R. Consonant. T. And a consonant, please. Okay, and a final. Final D. And that's it, then. Toby? Seven. Seven. Okay, so yours please, Dan. Ergodic. Say that again. Ergodic. Erg Erg right, and yours please, Dan, uh, Toby? Uh, Cordite. Cordite, that was mine, yes. Okay, so that's it. Your one's a new one on me, Dan. But I saw I saw it out of the corner of my eyes, so I knew what you were saying, but... James? Uh, yep, yeah, so yeah, er Ergodic's great. It's one of four sevens. Um, what does it mean? Um, oh, well. it, it's a maths word, I, isn't it? I remember seeing it in my degree. Well, um, hang on, if I could oh, find God the right window. It. It's kind of a cool word when you've kind of got God in the middle of it. Ergodic. Well, ergodic, um, it should be. If Hopefully that's not too grainy for people in chat. Oh, Please okay. let me know otherwise. Um, yeah, ergodic, um, relating to or denoting systems or processes with the property that, given sufficient time, include or impinge all points in a given space and can be represented statistically by a reasonably large selection of points. That took a lot longer to say than I thought two lines would be. So like the stat, like zoom down, zoom down stats and they're getting more relevant as they, as they go on. Is that kind of thing? Or got it? No? Tom's the best. Yeah, I, I should know this. I remember it in like the context of Markov chains, but the d dictionaries defined it better than I could have, so... Well, that's its job, isn't it? That's what a dictionary is meant to do. I'll give you a half half definition. Okay, so two good sevens to get those in the chat. Goitered was the other one, wasn't it? Goitered and Crowdy. Crowdy uh, yes, with an IE. Yes, yes. Mm. Okay. 29 to 53. And we're into round eight. And it's Toby, your letters, please. Three consonants, three vowels, please. Okay. 
J, H, and G. E, O, and I. A consonant. Another consonant. An S. And another consonant, please. And the final T, and that's zoomed out. Just six. Okay, and Dan? Uh, seven. Okay, Toby, you're six. Itches. Itches, yes, that was mine. Dan, you're seven. I don't know how to pronounce it. Chigos, Chigos. How do you spell it? C H I G O E S. There. I see it in front mm -hmm. of me. Don't know yeah. what it means, James. It's perfectly fine. I mean, I can look it up. Um, I was more looking at the other seven because I've never, I've seen um, Chigos. I think I say Chigos, but I'm always definitely wrong. Um, I've always, yeah, it's the other one which kind of caught my eye that I've never seen before. Um, a Chigo, or should I go? Hang on. Apparently, it's pronounced Chigo. Um, Chigo. Yeah, mid seventeenth century. Um, it's another term. Oh gosh. Um, Another term for a word. Oh, sorry, it's another. It's, it's giving me another link. <laughs> um, it's another word for a chigger or jigger with a J, a that tropical cool. flea, the female of which burrows and lays eggs underneath the host's skin, causing painful sores. Wonderful. Chigo, right? I that personally sound like it's from the Spanish or something. Chigo or something, doesn't it? Well, it's a flea, so quite possibly. Yeah. Um, yeah the other one, which was uh, interesting. <laughs> Spanish flea, yeah. Um, yeah. The other one which I admit I've never seen before is chog set, C H O G S E T, and that is a type of marine fish um, with another lengthy definition which I won't get into to save time. Well, those are fleas, and that's a fish. Okay. Yes. There you go. If you Bottom see line. those again, remember those like Dan. Very good spot, Dan. That wasn't the easiest selection. I think I'd rather have a nice chog set than a chigo. Uh, I ordered a chog set, a, it hasn't arrived. Stick a chog set on the barbie. <laughs> Still on a max. Is he on a max game here so far? He is indeed on a max. Yeah. I've missed this easy numbers, eh? Now that you said that. Commentator's curse. Commentator's curse. That's what it could be. All right. Oh, if anything, it sold that one a bit too well. Fine. <laughs> it's going too well. Right, so we're into round nine, and that's your numbers, please. I'll just go with one large, please. That'll be a really hard one then. Ten, seven, and five. One, two, and your large one is 100. And your target. 20? Yep, 620. Okay, and Toby? 620. Okay, Dan, how's yours? Uh, 100 divided by 2 is 50. Yeah. Um, plus 7 plus 5 is 62. Mm -hmm. 
and then times 10. Okay, and Toby? Uh, 7 minus 1 is 6. Yeah. Times 100 is 600. 600, yeah. And 10 times 2 is 20, and add it on. Plenty of ways to do that one, wasn't there? Mine was... I always go in an efficient way. I got the 38 and took it off the 100. 7 times 5 plus 2 plus 1, and then take it off the 100 for the 62. <laughs> but... Don't don't copy me, kids. So. Right, so that was ten points each. No, I don't yeah, Toby, you just need a nine. You get him get him on a nine or something, get back into this. Probably two I need. <laughs> You might need the two. Well, I think about that, talking about that, so we had how anything many good... can happen. Yeah, look at the Johnson Davies and and James Holton's game today. We'll talk about that in a moment. But yeah, lots of nines can occur. So it's your letters, please. Uh, apparently, Dan has now just taken the record for the most maxes on Zoom down. Mm. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, we'll come to Stephen for some stats maybe at the end of this. All right. So, Toby, take it away. Three consonants, three vowels, again, please. A consonant. A vowel. And one more vowel, please. Okay, and a final. Final O in that zoom down. Seven. Okay, which is? Goatees. Goatees, okay. And your eight? Uh, Dojates. Is that how you pronounce that? Dojates. Okay, it is I'm indeed how that. you pronounce it. And yeah, very, very well good. done. Very yeah. good. No extra points for pronunciation, but that just that cleared that oh, up. Oh, is, like is that like the Doge of Venice or something? Uh, Precisely. Do yeah. Dog eats. Spelt dog eats. No, it's not doggy eights or anything like that. No, a doge eights. Yes, it's the period of office of a doge. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. okay, very good. Me. Such well, very word. Well, Nothing done. to do there with goes, the meme. Yes. There goes your max <laughs> game, Dan. Sorry about that. There goes your max. But well played, Toby. Yeah, I did wonder why the final vowel at the end. Fair play. Mm -hmm. I was just wondering if either of you got, were going to try and pluralize geodata. Geodata would be the plural, right? Yeah, exactly, yeah. but like I've mm. tried it with an S at times and Fair, fair. Just to see whether they made a mistake or mm. yeah. Well, well played. Toby. Gets you back <laughs> into it a bit. James has beaten me eight 0 as well now, that's good. Okay. And um, we're into round eleven. Dan, your letters again, please. Um three constants, three vowels, please. Yeah. W, M and L. A, O, and I. Consonants. C. Vowel. Another I. And a consonant, please. The final R. Another sim down.
So, uh, Dan. Six. Okay, and Toby? No, just five. Which is? Claim. Claim, okay. And your six, Dan? A Lorica. Lorica. Scales, isn't it? A scale is Lorica, isn't it? Um, yeah, if I get the right window again. Um, yeah, a lorica, um, it's actually not to do with a scale. It's a term for me, the zoology, the rigid case or shell of some protozoans, mm. or a histori- um, historical terms do with a Roman corselet, um, or to do with leather. So, not it's quite. Lorica- to do with is loricate not to do with scales or something? Right? Um, I must admit I don't know I could check that but anyway that's one of the sixes the other one um, is to uh, to do with um, um, astrophysics actually um, Olamic and it's belonging to an age or cycle of the universe so actually yeah both theology, philosophy and physics it says here oh yeah because um uh, the the world in Hebrew is Olam so I guess that's where that's oh it's Hebrew okay very nice Olamic Hmm. which is the world Hebrew, Dan. Well, I, I know a few phrases. Cool. Wait, wait, was that an L? An an, an N? Sorry. Olamic. Oh, I was gonna. Oh, I thought you'd said with an N. As this, I've had an M on the overlay, but okay. Cool. Yeah, O yeah. O L A M with an like I C. Just me mishearing then. Cool. Seventy six forty seven, and we're into round twelve. And that is, Toby, your letters, please. Your final letter selection. Three consonants, three vowels again, please. Okay. F. M. V. A. O. A. A consonant. Uh, a vowel. An, an I. And a consonant, please. And a final. S. And that's in there. Seven. Seven, okay. And Dan? Seven as well. Okay, so yours please, Toby. Mafiosa. Very nice. And Dan? Atavism. Atavism. Well, those are the two that I can see in front of me, James. Can't yeah, that. that's, that's perfect. Yep, I got atavism. Um, yeah, mafiosa. I yeah, for, I forgot that that was in. So I know that mafiosi is not in. But yeah, mafiosa. Yeah, a, fe- a female member of the mafia. Very nice. You don't get many of those. Not in the films, anyway. <laughs> Very nice. Two good sevens. Fifty-four eighty-three. We're into the last letters round, and that's Dan's. Your please. Your your pick. Um, three consonants, three vowels, please. Right. Okay, and they are L. M. Had a lot of M's tonight. N E A U Consonant S A vowel Another A That's not what I was hoping for Uh, Consonant Sorry. please Sorry about that And a final <laughs> Final V
Seven. Seven. And Toby? No, I've lost it. Just five. Okay, which is? Meals. Okay. And your seven then, please, Dan? Alumni. Alumni. Very, very nice. Very nice. Yep, absolutely. Um, yeah, for alumni, one of the sevens. Uh, manuals being the other one, and mm. alumens being the other one. Manuals is probably the one you'd hope to see, isn't in there at least? Yeah, a tricky, mm. a tricky spot, depending on the order of them. Very nice. So alumni, very, very, very nice indeed, Dan. Very nice. Did anyone get that in the chat tonight? Um, there were quite a few seven knocking around. I didn't see the specific sevens. Um, I think we're still a little bit high on the stream actually. Uh, manuals, yeah, being spotted by loads. Um, Philip got um, alumni though, so. Okay. Well, very, very good, Dan. Okay, so we're into the final numbers round. Toby, how are you going to sign sign off? Uh, let's just do four large again for fun. Four large, okay. Come on, our most popular selection on Zoom down now. Four large. <laughs> so your smalls are three and five. Three, two, nine. Two nine, Toby. It's three thirteen. Hey, okay, and Dan. Three two nine. Three two nine. Take it away. Uh, fifty times five is two hundred and fifty. Plus seventy five is three two five. And then hundred over twenty five is four. To add on three two nine. Very very nice. Well played, yeah. I'm getting better at these. I got that one as well. So I kept. I got my. I got my 325. By going five and three is eight. Times 50 is 400. Take off the 75 is 325, and then you've got your to leave my four. So I'm starting Steve, to cop on with these. I think you know. Stephen might be able to. Uh, Stephen Reed though, might be able to tell us. Um, is that the first time that we've had an all four large normal game? Well, no. one of them was one large, so no. Oh, Correct. Right. Well, 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 yes. spot well, good, well, spot. well, well, well spotted. I, for some reason, thought Dan went four large again. Spanner in that, spanner in that theory there. Okay. Well, okay. Alternative question: Have there been any solely four large games? Yeah. Funnily enough, I didn't go four large when I was thirty-one points already. <laughs> uh, I mean, some people are that sort. Oh, well done, Dan. You're over the hundred, and I that, that already makes you our number one seed. I think, doesn't it? Yeah. You needed ninety-eight for that, so. Just squeaked past it there. Even if you don't get the con, you are you are our number one seed. So congratulations for that. Well, we um, have this we have this conundrum to do. I'm ready so. when you are. Okay. And go into this one. Do the usual guess. All right. So James's beautiful voice will keep you company. I'm gonna turn this off. With his usual spiel of what we do on the camera. I'm off, yeah, I'm off. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you are off. Um, make sure you're pinned on Paul and don't immediately just shout out the answer. Say buzz first. <laughs> yeah. I'm getting it more concise this time as people pretty much know what to do at this point. Let's see if the chat has anything to say. Um. Stephen says there have been two games with two six smalls and two four larges. Um, the only correct that, way to play calm down. <laughs> <laughs> if, yeah, uh, apparently that game in question was Paul Nixon versus Andy Platt and then Jonathan Wynn and Anthony Enzo was the other one. All right, well, I'm ready. So if you're, all, if you're both ready, gentlemen, as we reveal today's Zoom Down conundrum, Yes. 
Toby. Geobotany. Very nice. Very nice. Well, well done. done. Very good. It's all. It's all. Were you clear? Were you were you near it, Dan? Uh, no. To be honest. <laughs> oh well, that's good. Well, well done, Toby. That's nice. You got a zoom down conundrum. That's that's a nice way to sign off. So you mean you? But you were you were playing a man on extreme form tonight. I mean, he was going to have to slip up for you to to get in there, wasn't he? Yeah, he played very well. So well done. <laughs> He has well. That's that's very very gracious of you. He has. I mean, Dan, you've been a you've been a brilliant champion. Man. You have probably put the fear into whoever's left in this tournament, and maybe some of the ones that are yet to appear as well. I'd say you've laid down a a very very good marker for 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 number one seed, if anything. Anyway, but nobody's going to want to face you. That's what you want. I think you've re you've remind reminded people how good you are. Kind of maybe if they yeah. if they had forgotten. Well, I had, I suppose. Yeah, I didn't think you were quite. As, I didn't think you were quite this good, and you are. You are bloody good. So, it's been, it's been a privilege. Yeah, to be fair, there's you. loads of, there's loads of really good youngsters like coming up through mm. the ranks now, and it was six years ago since I was last on. So, a lot wow. of good players that come up. Yeah, but... time, time flies. It's mm. oh gosh, Ronan is really kind of building up at the moment as well. Fourteen year, fourteen years old, and is breaking two thousand. So, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Well, maybe get him. In, I guess it's, it's easy to learn when you're that young. Yeah. You've got no fear. Yeah, yeah. I think you've, you've you've definitely got no fear. You don't have the words knowledge, but at that at that age, well, maybe someone like Ronan does because he's spent a few years on Apto now as well. So, you know. But, but anyway, that was that was amazing. So, privileged to privileged to be to witness it. What was your final total then? Oh, um, I got hundred today. So. I don't know what I was on before. Thought you were on three five one, so four five one then. Yeah. Four five four, one five, then. One. Very nice. Yeah, that, yeah. Cranking out though. One one two seven five again. Cranking. So you were the first in the four fifty club. Nice, 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 nice. Whether we will we ever get a five hundred, I'm not sure. I would see that the, the standard's too good. You sort of need to be playing someone that you know that you're going to beat by a load of points. Maybe you're going to win every round if you want to be getting huge big scores. In, in, in terms of clubs, I wanted to join like Mile High Club, 450 Club. <laughs> yeah. Have you done the Mile High Club? Uh, anyway. Go on, don't be shy. Don't be shy. Tell us if you have now. Tell us. I mean, if my right hand counts, then yeah. <laughs> it's a segment for another time. <laughs> yeah. We have just we're, hit we're, nine o'clock. Welcome we to. We have just hit nine o'clock. Yeah. You can have Welcome that. to Down After Dark. Oh, no. <laughs> well, that was very good. So. What happens now, folks, is that we will say goodbye to uh, Toby for the moment and Dan for the moment. And we Indeed, we have to goodbye. put them away now. We will get Dan. We will see you in the quarterfinals in a few weeks' time. Yeah. Uh, Toby, thanks a million for playing. Cool. Sorry you had to come up against a beast that is Dan McComb. But yeah, it's okay, but. No, that's how it goes, isn't it? <laughs> we'll try and give if you you had exams, you see, we're series two. We'll try and give you a, lot, a slightly easier draw for series two. So it's just you yeah, had thanks. exams. If you've been in a little bit earlier, you might have got an easier draw, but just the way things worked out. So yeah, but really good, really good to see you. And that's good to see. Any last words before we put you into the waiting room? <laughs> Speak now, forever hold your peace. Um, yes, yeah, thanks for the invite. I guess good fun, good way to spend the Monday evening. That'll do. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, guys. There goes one, and there goes two. Um, Just the yeah. three of us. Or the oh, the no. least people we've ever had in a. Okay. Zoom so bag. do the I suppose the people at home don't know yeah who our two new contestants will be. They don't, James. Will you cover me there for a second? Um, do you want me to admit them in? Yes, please. Or, or well, for the big reveal. Well, we have we have a certain Steve Anderson no. and we also have a certain Stephen Holford as well who there we go game is going to be really friggin confusing we have Steve versus Steve um yeah I don't know how yeah we're, I don't know if we refer to yeah Steve one as Steve and one as Stephen or 
What protocol is it? Um, Paul is tampering with the mic. Uh, yeah. How did you guys follow the first game? Yes. It's probably mm. changed. Really. Probably quite happy that you don't have to. Yeah, we go up against Dan now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll be honest. I spent the whole time just uh, absolutely bricking it. Did you? Okay. Yeah. Sorry. With my evil laugh. Thanks, sorry about that. It's fine. You, you've, you've avoided the number one seat. Well, we could have a. Well, we'll see. Yeah. Hey. Who the new number one seat will be? You never know what could happen. Either Steve, heads or tails. Tails. Okay, that's a Tales from Holford. Okay, do you want to be player two? Um, Are we tossing yeah. for all right? Okay, Steve. Well, yep, okay, cool. Steve Anderson is player one. It was a Tales, by the way. I should have probably said that. <laughs> Very scientific here on Zoom, down. You know that. It's all methodology. Someone got annoyed in the chat last time when I arbitrarily picked who was contestant one. Okay, well, I had already picked, but you draw. Okay. Well, it's, it's the same as what you'd picked anyway, so... Was it? No, I think it was the opposite. Okay. Oops, sorry. It's the order they got revealed into the chat anyway. Alright. So, which, which is that order? Uh, Anderson's first. Big Steve Anderson. Actually, he deserves a big. We had cool demo column. Not, not Bog Steve Anderson. There we go. You can call me Bog Steve Anderson if you want. I will. I've definitely had worse. How many games does someone have to win before they inherit a nickname? I mean, currently zero. <laughs> it's nice to have another Anderson on the show. Anyway, that's good. We're we, 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 taking over. We've had we've had had a suggestion from chat that we should t we should be like sports commentators and refer to oh. them solely as Holford and Anderson, yeah, <laughs> which um, I, I generally don't have to refer to them by name, so I can avoid this discussion entirely. <laughs> Holford, I was a Holford. I'm a Holford, yeah. What's happening? Yes, no, I bought I bought one of the shirts that I never got to use two years ago, and actually, <laughs> I bought that as a little tribute. Yeah, it's roasting in here tonight. Yeah. It's really warm in here. Well, what's the temperature in the shed this evening? What's the temperature in the shed? 25.3. 20, That's hot. It's got a black felt roof, you see, so it kind of soaks mm. up the heat during the day. The challenge has been sent on Apterus, so All right, okay. I'm ready when you are. Yeah, cool. Well, did they enjoy that last game in the chat? Yeah, people, yeah. Yeah, m yeah loved it a lot. Um, a Dan lot on fire again. A lot, really. lot of congratulations to Dan yeah. and a lot of commiserations to Toby as well. Yeah. Toby was very much had, the, had a I lot know, of support in the I chat. feel a little bit bad. Is it, if, Toby had, if Toby had got in maybe a little bit earlier in the draw, he hadn't had his exams at that yeah. time. So, But he was just... But Toby, Toby's good enough to beat Dan if Dan had a slip-up. That's, that's the whole... That's the criteria, really, so... Happens. Into game two. Stephen Reed is very sad that after this game he will no longer be the highest placed Steve. <laughs> oh yeah, of course. All right, so um, it's it's V versus PH. That's what we should call you. Yeah. <laughs> Stephen with Stephen with a V and Stephen with a PH. So anyway, it is going to be big Steve Anderson. Your letters. Uh, I'll start with the uh, consonants and vowels for the first six, please. CV6. CV6, yeah. Okay, so that's N, E, T, U, C, and A. Uh, a consonant is a G. And another vowel. An E. Um, and another consonant, please. Okay, and a final, final W on that zoom there.
Uh, I'll stick with a six. Okay, and Stephen? Stephen, you're muted. <laughs> now he's turned off his video. <laughs> not a very not a very good lip reader. You've turned off your video. Oh. That's it. Start your video. There we go. We got you. Am I in? That's it. Yeah, you're, you're right. in there. Yeah. What about that? Yes. Not a very good lip reader, so what was your uh, your declaration? How, ma how many do you have? Seven. Seven. Okay, so Steve, you're six. Uh, I'm going to go for negate. Negate. Okay, and Steve, you're seven. Tunage. Tunage, yeah. You were breaking up a little bit there. I couldn't really. I'm sure, it's fine. Oh, really uh, yeah, tunage, okay. okay. That was yep. my dodgy seven. Unlike tunage. Voice is unlucky uh, yeah steve um yeah tunage is fantastic um that's one of three sevens available yeah tunage scentage or cuniot is the other one which is to be wedge shaped tunage probably doesn't mean what i think it means we mean in ireland tunage is music well <laughs> stick I on some tunage um, tunes. it's like kind of slang for a yeah, few tunes in, in, it's an informal term for music yeah especially right, in music good. journalism right. good good i'm sorry i doubted that right yeah, in journalism, no, no, this is parties. All right, okay. So, very good. Seven, Stephen? Right. Stephen, your, your sound is a bit weird. It's a, I can't really hear you very well. I can't hear you too well at the moment. I can hear you better now, just at the start of that, it wasn't very good. Okay, yeah, I don't know if my computer was going to be funny, but we'll see. Can you hear yeah, me right sort of, now? Yeah, you're good. It's sort of intermittent, yeah, okay. All right, so we're into... We can work with it. We're in round two, and that's your letters, please. I'm going to go um, consonant, vowel, alternating for seven. CV7, coming yep. up. And they are G and U. All right, hold on. G and U. P and another U. S, I, and D. Okay, and another vowel. And another vowel. And a final. Final O. Steve? Yeah, I think six. Okay, so you're Stephen. Uh, odious. Odious. And Steve? Yeah, same word. Two odiouses. Okay. Right. So, James, what else could they add? Um, yeah, three sixes available. Three, six, three. Um, six being the best once again. You have um, odious, guidos, and isopod. So, yeah, well done if you got any of those three. Particularly isopod. I quite like that one. And we're into the first numbers, and that is Steve. Uh, one large, please. Numbers are one, ten, and four. Another four, five, and a seventy-five. And your target, eight hundred and eighty-two. Uh, 881. 881. And Stephen? Yeah, I think I've just got 880. You've got 880. Okay, so Stephen, Steve, one away. Uh, so yeah. 75 plus 5 plus 4 plus 4. Plus 5 plus 4 plus 4, yeah, is 88. 
Yeah. Times ten. Times the ten. Plus one. Plus one. You have one left over. Seven points. James? Well, um, 881 actually was the best you could do. Um, 882 is not possible with that selection. So, well done, Steve. So, 13 each. Okay, we're into round four. And that's Steve in your letters, please. Okay, I'll do the same again. Consonant and vowel for seven. Okay, CV7. They are P and O R. Stephen? Oh, sorry. Um, I haven't got those now. My computer's not working. I can't see the screen. Out of you can't see the screen. Is it intermittent? Yeah, I see everything, all the boxes just flashing up and down. Is it too, uh, it would be too inconvenient for me to try to restart, wouldn't it? Um, but yeah, it's been a bit intermittent and it's not working very well at the moment, I'm afraid. So I can't. Mm. Mm. Sorry, if we do a DC usually... guest, I get maybe. We do. Um, and I suppose, yeah, in terms of DC guests, we do have an Adam Dexter in the waiting room. Um, obviously, we'll confirm it with him first rather than bringing him in as a surprise. Yeah. Um, we could... and then we'll do that at the end. Can you see at the moment, Stephen, or is it gone? Um, hold on, let's see if I can. Hey, James, it's, it's picking itself, isn't it? It's fine, I can draw the last two letters at random. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I, I, have a pile, I have the pile of, um, like, from the board game in the other room. Right, so I've got right. uh, Yeah, you have two more. And then, and then, yeah, vowel consonant. So a vowel is A. Yeah. Final. Consonant. Which is the final N. N. And that's zoomed down, yeah. Okay, and Steve? Yeah, six is here. Okay, Steve, and you're six? Uh, Sorry, say that again? Uh, Loner. Again, Loner. Loner. Couldn't hear that, James. What was it? It was Loner. L O. Oh, Loner. Sorry, yes. And Steve? Prance. Prance. Okay. Oh, what could they have had? Two very nice sixes. There was a solitary eight there, which I haven't seen in a while. I've seen in a long time, um, and it's if I can get my, um, uh, if that will stop the video entirely, um, yeah, get my dictionary up. It's paleocom. Um, yeah, P. There was said yeah. There's, the spelling there is with um, nine letters. I think you can have it with eight, and it's opposed to neocon. It's a term from U.S. politics. Old. It's it's old hardline conservatism. Conservative. Yeah, paleoconservative. Right. There you okay, go. Very old. Okay. Dinosaurs then. Hazel and Callum seem to be the only people who got that in the chat, so well done. Well done, the pair of you. Was there any sevens? Um, oh, that's a good question, actually. Um, yeah, there were three, there were quite a few sevens. So you have ones like Carpool and um, um, Coroni and Corneal, yeah. amongst others. Nineteen each, yes, exactly. And we're into round five. And that is Steve back with you in the letters, please. Uh, can I alternate the first seven, please? Starting with the consonant. C V seven. And they are M and I P and A V and O and 
M. Um, consonant. Um, and a vowel, please. Final. Final A, and that's zoomed in. Off Seven. Seven and Stephen. I just think for me. Which is? Uh, Massipo. Massipo, yes. And Steve, you're seven. Animato? Animato. James? Animato? I'm muted again. Um, Animato is great. Yeah, there's, um, yeah, well, I had another nice term from music, but there was an ape there, which um, I didn't see. Um, Tom, I don't know if you're looking at uh, selections or you're focusing on the stream. Not really, but I didn't see it either way, so... Fair enough. Um, yes, yeah, so there was one eight, which was Pivot Man. Oh, nice. What is a Pivot Man? What do they do? Well, okay. A Pivot is Man... Is that in a sporting term, or...? So, um, so it's a verb um, to turn on or as if on a pivot. Um, Oh no, it's just got listed under pivot. Okay, I've just list told you what pivot is. Um, yeah. A pivot man is um, a player in a central position in a team sport. Ah, okay, right. It's sort of figurative then. Okay, I get. Pivot's a very nice five there. Steve, good seven. And that takes you into a seven point lead as we take a little break and we're going to get. It's numbers first, isn't it? Oh no, we're actually not, we're into round six, that's right, sorry. We are, so we need numbers going first. It's not working properly now, it's, it's, it's steady down, everything seems to be working alright at the moment. Well that's okay, but we're going to get. We're going to have a little break in a, in a little minute, so if you do need to do a restart, you'll have a few minutes to do that, but we're going to play this yeah, numbers. numbers. We'll yes. play this numbers game first, and it, Stephen, it's your choice. Um, I'll have two large, please. Two large, okay. Okay, your numbers are one, nine, seven, and five. And you're too large, 75 and 100. And your target, <laughs> 999. Steve. Yeah, 999 here as well. Okay, so Stephen, the biggest target you can get on a normal numbers, how'd you get it? Plus 7 plus 5 take away 1. And then multiply that by 9. Steve? Uh, a bit different, I did 7 plus 5 is 12. Times 75, plus 100, take one. Nicely done, both. And as well. Very good, so. Worked out quite nicely, that one, didn't it? There was no 37, 37 route that I could see. But <laughs> always, I always look for it. <laughs> there, was it? Could you get 74? Yeah, times uh, 13 and a yeah. half is not ideal. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I meant could you get rid of the seven? Oh, I don't know. Use up too many numbers. So, 36 to 29. And we're going to get our ad hoc guest. 
I Indeed. was from uh, the waiting room, yes. so, so ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we'd like to welcome Adam Dexter. And hello, Adam. He is. Hello, hello. Oh, sorry to throw this upon you, but you're going to become our <laughs> sort of guinea pig guest now for this for this segment. So I hope you've prepared like a nice little <laughs> funny story or you know. I mean, it's, only, it's only the second time we've I think we've really need to employ kind of a waiting room on Zoom down. The other one is when Jonathan Wynn Jonathan was winning Wynn, his fourth right. game. So Yeah. So it's um so how have you been Adam anyway? You've been enjoying you you've been enjoying watching Zoom down. Yeah, yeah. You just turn on your video? Oh. You just turned off your video. <laughs> Too many buttons on this program, aren't there? Well, those files we have we're still, a guest. We're still we're still learning them. Are we? Do we still have you there, Adam? Yeah, I can hear you, but down the bottom left of your screen, you probably turned off the camera. Just click the video button again. No, he he can just <laughs> tamper whilst we talk. But anyway, what I wanted to talk about, James, was uh, was the Max game that we had. Um, not the Max game, but the, the record-breaking game that was on after earlier between Luke Johnson Davies and James Hal James Halton. An amazing game. Uh, yeah, seriously impressive. Like even though, yeah, I, I'd say that yeah, a couple, regardless of the fact that there were the nines might have been not the most obscure things in the world. They're very hard to spot, particularly once you're already on that kind of score with a few rounds remaining. Like so they had five. Yeah. They had there was they had five in total each. Five, five each, uh, yeah, and it nearly went to James Horton, but of course his, um, yeah, typo the conundrum, but they both, uh, yeah, pretty much buzzed in at the same time. James so, was point one ahead of him, and both, an both, both equally deserving, um, incredible even Equal used, equal used instead of equal eyes, yeah, so. Mm. Unreal, I mean, what what a score, I mean, I've, I've never even had a game anywhere close to those, but for, to get two people to do that in, in the one game is just, it's crazy. Yeah, I I wouldn't have been able to have done that. I would have cracked too early, they, and yeah, I I reckon that I would have um, yeah cracked under pressure and got a bit nervous and missed something quite obvious. Um, the only other yeah. game I remember like that was Paul Nixon's one on on the TV, where I remember just there was loads and loads of nines came out, just and you're like thinking I've got a nine in this round as well, but it was you know it was words that I wasn't maybe too sure of mm -hmm. at the time, like unpromised, and, you know now that I know it's in. But little words like that, we are going. Do I risk the nine? I'm on a cracker of a score here. Do I do I mess it up by risking another nine, or do I go for it? Absolutely, I can't imagine kind of the, if yeah that happened on the actual show, the amount of pressure that you'd mm. probably be under just in case. I you mean, think take the safe eight or, or, yeah. or risk the nine again. Yeah. And I, I say that we have a certain Tom Carey in this call who was in one of, one those, of those games. games. Yeah. <laughs> um, yes, I I don't actually know what the um, highest available max was in an individual game. Obviously, I know that we've had Mella and Zarte post very high scores of 150 plus but I well, what is the that... mentality mouse in a game like that then do you think do you think stick with your eight or do you think go for every nine that you can see my well my mental you're, mu you're muted you're by muted. the way for oops sake um i you're muted yeah 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 i fixed it um by pressing the unmute button technical wizardry um yeah i think my mentality in that game was basically like i i knew it was over after round five because i like blobbed the two nines where he literally just put a letter in my eight and then so i basically played that game to dick around and enjoy myself because i knew it would be the last time i was on and the so the mentality is to go for everything well at, at that point it wasn't a competitive game it would be very different if i was mm -hmm. in like luke or james's situation where like the game is still on but at that point i knew i'd lost i was just mm -hmm. obviously still playing properly and trying to get the best word i can because that's how the game works but like i i wasn't really taking it super seriously and then like when i got to mizzou's in round 12 and pulled it back and was like hey i could actually potentially win this then then it became very different, and then like round thirteen, there was Pardoni, which I got right at the end. And if he had missed that, which he almost did, that mm. would have put me back within crucial range. And he, mm. so, um, I the the other thing about that game that a lot of people don't seem to know, other than who won the knots and uh, the rock paper scissors, which the rock, started, scissors, by the way. Yeah. Um, the other thing that people don't seem to know about that game is that I genuinely did not think we were on for the max. For some reason, like Zate, I knew we'd got like the three nines at the start, 
But in my head, I thought he was on. He had 130 when he had 140 before the conundrum, so I didn't think it really mattered. I fully went for the conundrum. I was right behind him. He just beat me to the buzzer. Like, it we that conundrum came. Forget about Maxis, don't you, but when you when you're going into those sort of stupidly big scores, when you're both on a really big score, you, you're not. I don't know if you're thinking about Maxis. But I I mean, you'd notice it on Aptos because more cause... points because the points are more extravagant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Viewers. I know that exactly, you know. but like. And on Aptorus, you kind of notice because the score's in your face. I just didn't notice on the TV, and for some reason, I thought it was lower, so I didn't really think it mattered. Like, mm. obviously, in hindsight, I feel bad having essentially taken eight points of him, but he should have seen Tiramisu. It's not my fault. He should have. And no, he should have. Like no, the exactly. conundrum. Like, yeah. I, yeah. I very nearly got that conundrum and stopped him from getting the highest score because, like, we were we did both buzz at essentially the same time. Um, it was a conundrum we both had in a game. Uh, the Colin hangover in 2016 with Tom Kaplan in DC, um, yeah. and he beat me to it there. But yeah, I, I in, in hindsight, I'm really glad that he beat me to the buzzer, just because it would have felt really bad. Although then again, a, a not... 132 losing score would be nice. But does it not show that, it, that everything needs to be going in your favor? But them, like that's what Elliot was saying, the amount of luck required to get even for both of them to be sitting on 162 apiece. Before yeah, obviously it's just look at the draw it's with the nines, and it's just, you know it's a stupidly big score that you're on, and everything has to sort of go in your favor to get there. This is the thing you know? that even mm. though it's yeah, it's completely unheard. Like we say, ne- near enough unheard of. I mean, the um, obviously the record was considered to be one seventy or one seventy three, obviously, but That's the right, old fi- yeah. old fifteen had one seventy. But mm-hmm. um, yeah, it's been pointed out that the highest of, um, available max that's been um, you know provided in a fifteen rounder, there's been one with seven nines that had a one nine five. One nine five. Oh yeah, which is absolutely the guy. Crazy. I don't know who. Well, I will not name him, but he got one thirty three, which is a decent score, but missed loads. <laughs> it's one of those. You're like, you get a decent score like a one thirty three and missed loads of nines. <laughs> you know, because there were, there literally was there was there was a there was a nine, most rounds. You know. I mean, but you just you get a nosebleed. You wet the bed at those when you get when the game seems to be going too swimmingly like that. You know? I mean yeah, that, that yeah one nine five. I mean most goat down games don't even have a net <laughs> max of that value. No. So yeah, insane. Yeah, no, I've never been up that high in goat down either. When there were there are loads of nines available. So anyway, congratulations to Luke Johnson Davies and I, well and to James Holton because they both have the the joint. The, the the aggregate score, the highest aggregate score record now, don't they? By a massive number, by thirty four points or something like that, wasn't it? Hazel and who was it? Hazel and Callum or Hazel and someone else? Or someone had the previous record for the cumulative points total. I'm not sure about the previous cumulative record. Someone in chat will know. They were talking about it earlier. Uh, I think it was Ronan. Wasn't Ronan mentioned the points difference? Yeah. yeah. But sorry, but we lo- we just lost Adam there. I don't know what the ha- what happened. He apologised. Apparently, his thing crashed. Oh, all right. Okay. So. Well, that's good. Well, thanks, Mouse and James for uh, Marcus Hairs and Hazel by thirteen points according to chat. Right. Okay. By only thirteen. All right. I thought it was more than that. I thought it was a bigger. But what a what a score! What a score! Right. Back to the lads here. We get into this game. Only seven points in it, and it is round seven. And that is Steve. Uh, can I see the first six, please? Yeah. And they are R and I. J and I. V and O. Uh, consonant and vowel, please. K and A. Um, and a consonant, please. And a final. Uh-uh. X. Okay, we haven't had a three yet. That's a new one. Three and Stephen, can you beat three? I'm gonna try a five. You're gonna try a five. So you're three, Steve. Jaw. 
Oh, what? Well, jar. Jar. Jar, okay. That's definitely our lowest. Stephen will be counting that one for the lowest. That's a, a three. Jar, okay. And Stephen, you're big five. Uh, I don't spell that right, but Reiki? How do you spell it? R A I K I. A I. Oh, so I'm afraid that's not in but one of the fives was very very close mm -hmm. um i haven't looked at the pronunciation of it but one of the fives available of which there were only three is the maximum by the way um there were three fives available um was ariki or arikai um Varix was the other one and the other one was um here i've even got it up um is kore an ancient Greek statue of a young woman standing and clothed in long, loose robes. Very specific, isn't it? So it's Greek for maiden. Okay, I see that. Uh, right, yeah, so Re is Reiki, that. Are you talking about Reiki, the thing for your feet? That yeah, sort of exactly. medical part? I think that's an E, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's what I just realised. <laughs> yeah. There were a few... It might be R-E-I-K-I, -I, something like that. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, there were a few fours in there as well, but um, congratulations for winning with three. Right, you, were, you win with three. You never thought that, that would happen. Well, I couldn't find a four, so... <laughs> no, it wasn't a nice selection, was it? It wasn't nice. Sorry about that. Star. Big three, then. A big three. Ten points in it, and we're into round eight. And that is Stephen. Your letters, please. Um... Seven, CV seven. CV seven. Here, N, A, B, A, N, O, and D. And um, vowel consonant. E, and a final T. Seven. Seven. And Steve? Seven. Okay, yours please, Stephen? Abandon. Abandon. And Steve? Yeah, abandon as well. Abandon. It came out, it was, it came out in the first seven there, didn't it, yeah. really? So, yeah. James? Yeah, perfect. There's one of two sevens available, Abandon being one of them, and the other one being um, Undante. What lively kind of thing is it Andante? um i can double check that for you probably the opposite um, knowing me i don't think it's <laughs> anything <laughs> dull related the director says andante and i'm like hey, i don't think no, we have no, commentators no, no. cursing andante um, <laughs> um okay so um i was saying it isn't commentator's curse it actually is because andante is an adverb to be performed as moderately slow tempo moderately slow i knew that i was like the, i was like oh oh, oh no that andante right yeah i thought you meant the other Lively and Dante. <laughs> so, so that's the seven. Thirty-six to forty-six. Yeah, is that right? What 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 were the scores there? Forty-six. Thirty-nine or thirty-nine forty though. Uh, I mean, thirty-nine and thirty-nine. This would be forty-six thirty-six. That's all right. Okay, cool. And we're into round nine, and that is back with you big steve your numbers please uh one large please okay and your numbers are three and eight six and another six one and your large one is 100 and your target 792 
Uh, yeah, seven nine two. And Stephen. Okay, so Steve, you're away, please. Uh, hundred minus one. Times eight. And Stephen. Same way. Same way. Okay, very good. Yeah. Yeah. Eight times ninety-nine, nine times eighty-eight. There was a few different ways to do it there, wasn't there? So. And we're into round 10. Is Stephen your letters, please? Yep, CV7 again. CV7 again, and they are L and I, Y and E, Z, E, and R. In a vowel consonant. H and then zoom down. Steve? That's seven as well. Yours please, Stephen? Readily. Readily. And Steve? Yeah, the same. Same word. Readily, ready, ready break. Got your readily. Okay, that was the one I saw. Looks like there was a bunch of them, James. Yeah, there was a large amount of sevens. Um, I'm trying to think alternatively on how to read out all of them, seeing if I can answer anyone's requests in chat. Um, I might as well read them all. Yeah, read like There's a lot of people red. offering their suggestions. Right, so your full list of sevens are Delaya, Hardily, Hayride, Hedia, Hedily, Hydriae, Layered, Readily, Readily, Relayed, Reyield, and Yielder. They are all the sevens. If your seven is not on that list, then it's invalid. My eight's definitely not. My false eight, anyway. I was thinking Rehailed. I was thinking, surely that hail is such a popular old, very, very ancient word that you can re-hail someone. I can't say I've ever heard of a scenario where that would be used. Well, I hailed him and then he, he, didn't, he didn't hear me. I re-hailed him. You hailed him. You say you hailed him again. I just, yeah, I re I just it's say, <laughs> having to say again, doesn't it? That's what re means. Anyway, didn't obviously catch on. So. Someday, no, maybe. Of course, no. No, I'd say it probably was in olden times. Maybe you could have, you could <laughs> re-hail someone, but not anymore. So, there's still 10 points in the game, and um, we're into round 11, and that is Steve, your letters, please. Uh, CV6, please. Okay. And they are D and E, Q and O, H and U. Uh, consonant. And S. Uh, a vowel. An A. And another consonant, please. And a final. M. And that's zoomed in. Six. Okay, and Stephen? Eight, but I think I might stick with seven in that case. Okay, so your six, please, Steve? Uh, mashed. Mashed, and your seven, Stephen? Uh, quashed. Quashed, okay, so you were thinking of an eight? Madhouse. Mm hmm. Well, you would have been right. <laughs> you would have been very right. 
Yeah. That's about that house, the Stolate. So, but anyway, a good seven that wins it, quashed. That gets you back into the game. You'd love to know that was my seven as well. <laughs> yeah. Really? Oh, no. I had it earlier in the game, in Atlas, just coincidentally. Uh, so I knew, yeah. You had what? Quashed or Madhouse? Quashed. All right, okay. So, 63 plays 60. It's a three-point game. Steve, what's that poster behind you? Where's that Where's that off? It's a map of Fife. A oh, Fife, okay, right. right. Is that where you live? Uh, it's where my mum's from. Right, okay. I see. So, they Anderson... No, your mum, she's not Anderson, obviously. No. Right. Okay, so we are in round... Round 12, and it's you, Stephen. Okay. Uh, uh, numbers, letters, what is it? Sorry. Letters, please. Yeah, letters. Uh, yes, uh, CV7. CV7. And they are S and I. L and E. T and O. And an R. And a uh, vowel consonant. Okay. And your vowel is an O. And the final D. Okay, and Steve? Uh, I think I've got an eight. Okay, so you're seven, please, Stephen? Uh, Loiters. Loiters, yes? Yeah. Okay, and you're, and you're eight then, Steve? Uh, Istriol. Fantastic. Istriol. Very good. Well, well done. done. Lovely word. Beautiful. I'll write that one up. Funnily enough, I think that came up for me on Aptris earlier. Yeah. One of those words I used to know, I used to miss that one all the time, but then sort of once you see it, then you do start you do start spotting it. It's a it's, it's, it's a lovely it, word to play. It's going to stem as well, so it's probably yeah. one I might get next time. Yeah, it's probably on one of my oh, most yeah. li most missed lists on Apto, but I think I've I've played it the past the past few times now. So. Yeah, if anyone wanted the meaning, um, yeah, an estrogen, which is one of the metabolic products of estradiol, which is produced in the ovaries. You're a chemical expert, James, aren't you? You know your chemistry, don't you? I did chemistry up until the first year of A-levels. I'm more of a physics and maths guy, fortunately. Okay. Wish I was more chemistry-based, though, but unfortunately not. So that's an E. Very nice. Okay, thank you. 11 points clear. So, Stephen, you're going to have to get it back a little bit before the conundrum. Hey, shouldn't I, really? <laughs> mm -hmm, you should have. So... Round 13, and that is Steve, your letters, please. Final letter selection. Uh, CV6, please. CV what? CV6, CV6 please. CV6 is that. Okay. And that's M and E, T and E, S and A. Uh, consonant. And R. Uh, vowel. U and a uh, consonant base. And the final S. Okay, and Stephen? Okay, so <clears throat> your, yours, please, Steve. Steamers. Steamers. And, and Steven? Pair of steamers? Yeah, pair of steamers. <laughs> pair of steamers. Okay, so mine was measures. 
There wasn't a nine measures. but James, was there? Uh, no, there was no nine, sadly. There were quite a few eights, though. So we've measured, we have measures and steamers. That's a good um, one. I like that one. Yeah, um, masseter, um, reassume, and the one which um, I have unsurprisingly been pronouncing wrong until now um, is miatus or miatuses. Um, which a term from anatomy. Disappointing. It's not meters. It's not meters, nor meters. Uh, yes, a passage or like opening nickname, leading to the interior of the body. Yes, it's not a yes awful nickname to give someone. <laughs> given also that the example given on this entry is the urethral meatus. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not be known as one. Me, the urethral meatus. That's not going to just look like meatus. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like a funny Roman name. Funny Roman nickname, meatus. So, what did we get there? Two eights? 68.79? Still at 11 points in it, Stephen, as we go into your final number selection. You're going to have to win this one. Yeah, okay. I'm going, don't make me gamble like Rachel does. I'm going for my favourite, too large. That's... Too large, okay. Yeah. Okay, so you're too large coming up. Your four smalls are five and seven. Another five and one. And your two large, 25 and 75. All the odd numbers. And your target, 227. Two two seven. Oh, bad luck, man. Bad luck, Steve. Uh, same here, but two two five. Two two five. Well, take it away. Two two five. Um, five plus five, take one. Times twenty five. Well, did anybody get it in the chat? Um, yeah, quite a lot of people got it in the chat. Um, did you get it, Paul, or were you? I wasn't really paying attention to be honest. I was looking at conundrums. Oh, go on. I mean, I I'll, I'll throw with a solution this time. Go on, then. So seventy-five take twenty-five, and then take five, take one off of that as well. Forty-four times by five and add the seven. Twenty, and you have a seven left over. There you go. It's a good way to do things is to sometimes keep the number that you need for at the end and then see what you can work out from then. But anyway, so that's uh, seven points for you, Steve Bay. And that takes you over the line. So very well played. Commiseration, Stephen. Let's hope you can get the conundrum. So James will explain to you as I write up on the board. Indeed, um, my spiel is actually um, yeah slightly more useful this time, um, as we have two new contestants. Uh, yes, uh, yeah, he's writing it up on the board now. His uh, the when his camera goes up, the music will start at the same time, and that's when your round will start. Yeah, buzz by saying the word buzz. Don't say the answer until Paul's prompted you. Okay, fine. Yeah. Okay, so we're getting a little bit smoother at this now. So the very best of luck, gentlemen. As we reveal today's zoom down conundrum. Stephen. Stephen. Um, not me. I just laughed at the uh, conundrum. I wasn't. I wasn't buzzing. Buzz. Sorry. Okay, so Steve. Overspent. It is overspent. Well done. Sorry for confusing your cough with a with a buzz there, Stephen. I thought you were buzzing. I thought you were quick off the mark. But we had Steve Porn tonight, didn't we? Really, we had a lot of Steves. <laughs> oh, it's, Many uh, Steves. Two you're Steves only seeing tonight. the scramble now, are you, Steve? <laughs> we had a feast of a veritable feast of Steves. 
for you tonight. So, very well played. That takes you to 96. I do apologise if the quite... stream's focusing on me, by the way. My laptop's done its thing of As only it. giving me a grey screen. I'm amazed it lasted this long. Um, but yeah, I'll mute myself for now so it doesn't keep coming back to me. Well, very well played, lads. Very well played. Thanks, well, thanks a million well for... Well played, for... Stephen. Well played, Well played, sir. Cheers. Very good. Good sportsmanship. That's what we like to see on Zoom down. And thanks for thanks for understanding. Thanks to Adam. Adam was our stand-in tonight. If if Toby had won, so Adam, you won't be waiting long. So don't worry. Don't worry about it. Maybe just look at your internet connection there, just to make sure that everything's going to work okay. Um, but Steve, well, very well played. We'll have to think of someone for you to play now. So the secret council will be meeting to decide who you get, who you deserve. Won't be who you want. It'll be who you deserve. So, no worries. Yeah, James, Mouse, we're gonna Mouse, you're muted, but we'll uh we'll uh, we'll have a think about yeah, who we'll best throw yep. some shit together and we'll see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Enthusiastic <laughs> as ever. <laughs> um, you know he you know he really cares. You know he does. It's, that's just his way of showing it. So thanks for much thanks very much for, to everyone for watching. How did the uh, how did the stream get on tonight? Any problems? Um, as far as I'm aware, it seems fine. I mean, Tom might be the one who's probably better at vouching for that. I'm sorry, I've kind of been checking the chat uh, as it goes along. I mean, I've been just getting the call stuff. As far as I can tell, nothing. I had to. There were. Yeah, I think it was fine. If cool. not, then. Yeah. I've no, I have not seen any complaints in terms of stream quality. Exactly. That's so. usually what I base it off. Just read the chat and see who says what. Well, yeah, it, it is not just picking a name out of a chat. It's basically us all arguing with each other in the group chat about, you know, like, mm. Paul will suggest someone and then I'll be like, no, this is a terrible idea. Why have you done this? Um, There's um, a, f a final stat from the third Steve, Stephen Reed from the chat. Apparently, um, in terms of, so we were talking about the maximum available scores um, in our little segment earlier. Mm -hmm. um, so, in terms of the max possible score, um, this has been the lowest max score game of Zoom Down so far. Apparently, two hundred and thirty-seven was the maximum available over both games. Oh, this whole the Zoom Down Twenty. I mean, we're it's mad. It's isn't it crazy that we're at Zoom Down Twenty? Yeah, not already, nineteen right? as it says in the video title. Does it? <laughs> You're only on nineteen. All right, okay. Now this is definitely twenty. Episode or oh, game forty. Yeah, forty games, lads. We have, and we're probably we've probably got maybe six, seven, maybe left. Uh, well, six, seven episodes yeah. left. I'd right. say. Yeah, yeah. Something like that. We're not sure. Maybe a couple more. Maybe, mm. maybe one less. We're not sure. We'll, we'll we'll see. But it's been it's been absolutely brilliant. Um, we'll let we were a bit late starting tonight, so we'll let people get off. We'll not waste too much time. So, most if you get ready to do that old double double button uh, yeah. press, <laughs> and we'll say thank you very much to everyone for taking part. Thanks to the Steves. Thank you. We'll, we'll see. Steve. We'll see Big Steve on Thursday. We'll let you know tomorrow how you're going to play. So thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to subscribe. Tell your granny to subscribe. Everyone you know to subscribe, please. We need subscriptions. It's not going to earn us any money, but it's gonna it's gonna be good for us anyway. So thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you on Thursday. So good night. Take care, Cheers, everyone. Guys. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Cheers. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're off. Off.